Welcome to Backup Exec 2010, Protecting Your VMware Virtual Environments, Restoring Your Backed Up Data. Okay, so we've accomplished a few data protection backup runs. We've done a full backup, we've done weekly full backup schedules, and we've also done daily incremental backups to this point. So the big question now is, how do I restore that data when, it, when the time comes that it's important for me to do so? So we can simply launch a new restore job and this will open the window that is uh, very familiar to us from the backup process so we can say the first thing we can do is walk down the left hand side here again and say okay what are we going to restore so we select what we're going to restore where are we going to put it to and so if we do need to make modifications on where we're uh, directing that data if the original VMware infrastructure was having issues and we want to restore to a different location here's where we can specify the redirection of that data to a different spot and then we can go through the settings for giving it a name giving the restore job a name and giving specific uh, restore options around VMware itself so let's go ahead and walk through this process and take a look at it the first thing we want to do is look at the selections now if we run into a situation where we want to restore the entire virtual machine itself this is where we come into the VMware Virtual Center and ESX Server node and we expand that down and we can get a view of what our virtual infrastructure looks like from a backed up perspective now in this case we've got one virtual machine backed up so I expand it down into that virtual machine and we can see here are all the uh, backups that we've run on this particular virtual machine so we can see a number of fulls we can see a few incrementals mixed in there as well and now it's just a, a matter of which version do we want to restore we ran into issues um, in the afternoon and now we want to restore something from earlier in the morning or from the previous day we can just come right in to the list here select that option notice it does reference the VMDK file and whether you're doing the full version of that VMDK or the incremental notice that we're referencing the full size of that virtual machine so even if you choose this incremental uh, backup option it is going to take that incremental and the associated full or other incrementals as well and combine those into a complete uh, restore image for you to restore back to the virtual environment. Now let's say that we don't necessarily want to deal with the full virtual machine. We don't have a, a need to specify the whole virtual machine. We just need to get some of that data back. This is where we can come directly into the VMware workstation node itself and we can come down and say okay we know that the workstation 7 VM had a C drive to it and so now we step into that C drive and again we see all the corresponding backup runs that we saw at the full VMware level now this is going to be at the file level for restores again remember we talked about the GRT the granular recovery technology this is where we do a single pass backup and enable multiple restore options for you and so we can come into any one of these and we can notice that we're browsing this like Windows Explorer take a look at the full backup here we can notice that on the C drive there's not a folder called some new files but in our more recent incremental there is a new folder for some new files and in case those were lost corrupted destroyed in some fashion you can simply browse down into that folder as we've done and select which of the files you want to restore now this is that GRT really coming to fruition here I've done a single pass backup using the vStorage API's so it was an off host backup and I've given you the capability to restore the entire VM or an individual file out of that VM. So with our file selected, we can come down, we can give it a new name, restore some new files, and we can come down and specify any of the VMware options. Now in this case, if we're restoring an entire VM, we can certainly 
specify to delete the virtual machines uh, prior to restoring the new virtual machine. And then we can use the same, we have the same options for the transport mode. So we can pick and choose what we want to use and do that restore. Now, ultimately, at a file level restore, these transport options aren't as critical because we're going to be going directly to the VM and communicating with that VM. This is why we recommend having the uh, backup exec agent for Windows running inside the virtual machine. It really has nothing to do with the backup itself and everything to do with the restore. If the agent's there, we've got a secure communication capability and we can automatically pass the restore files directly back to the virtual machine through that through the use of the agent itself. If the agent's not there, then you really do need to restore to a network share and then pull those files off of the network share from the VM and bring them in that fa in that fashion. Otherwise, this is the easiest way to restore the to restore those files is through the use of the agent inside the virtual machine. And we can simply run now and restore those files.